Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and I got something very special in the mail that I wanted to share with you. So here's the box, and as you can see on the description, it is for a brake caliper. You can also see one, meaning 2001, and R3 for the Mustang code, and I'll put my link to how to break down part numbers in the video description if you wanna see it. But uh, when I saw this for sale on eBay, uh, I really wanted to get it because it's very hard to find, and it's not something you could easily a duplicate on your own if you wanted to refurbish the brake caliper. So this one is from a 2001 Ford Mustang Bullet. So if you've paid attention to the Bullet, you'll know that these came red with the running horse on them. And so Ford actually powder coated these, Cardinal Red, and they have the running horse going through them. And some people say they were laser etched into the brakes and everything like that. But if you look closely, you'll see the uh, machine work here towards at the top of the caliper. It runs through the entire top part of the caliper, including the running horse, right? And so you can see those lines match up perfectly with the horse, so they weren't cut separately. Now, if you look at the other areas on it where the powder coating was removed and machined, it's not as pretty. It's just, you know, machined and scratched up. And so it definitely did have its own pattern where the running horse was going, a really nice looking one so that it was a little more professional looking. The rest of the parts, even like on the back here, you can see, you know, where it was just kind of machined off and scuffed and everything. It looks good. Um, but as for the actual running horse, you'll notice it's even recessed in here. If you put your finger on it, you'll feel where it goes down. The powder coating is thicker than the rest of the caliper. So again, if you look here at the top, you'll see those lines going through. And if you look at the bottom, you just have regular powder coated metal, right? So you can definitely see those other lines going through there on the top when you look at it just right in the light. So anyway, I thought this was really cool because uh, this was a bullet only thing. The co Now it's really similar brakes to the Cobra and the Terminator that I'll show you here in a minute, but um, it was a bullet only thing to do the running horse like this. And I thought it was really cool. Um, now the Cobra says Cobra in raised lettering and it would have been cool to do that with the running horse too. But uh, at any rate, these are um, very nice brakes. They're made by PBR. So here's the part numbers for them all. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the wheel off my Mach 1 to compare it to the Mach 1's brakes. So I went ahead and put the Mach 1 in the air. It has a jack stand under it as well and uh, took the lug nuts off and removed the wheel to look at the brakes because everybody says that they're pretty much similar to the Mach 1, right? Well, I wanted to check it by part number and everything that was on the actual caliper since it's so clearly written here. And sure enough, it has the PBR on there and it has the same exact patent number, same numbering on the top of it. And then even towards the bottom, it's exactly the same, says it's made in Australia. So just out of curiosity on the Terminator, I pulled the wheel off as well, and I wanted to check the part numbers, and sure enough, everything is exactly the same as well. And so these are also the PBR brakes, of course, made in Australia, part numbers, patent numbers, everything was the same. So you may have noticed on the Terminator Cobras and even the earlier uh, Cobras that it has Cobra lettering that's raised and then it's been machined off on the front. So um, at any rate, if you were going to redo a pair of these, it would be pretty easy uh, to have them, you know, repainted or um, powder coated or whatnot, and then just shave off where it already says Cobra. But the bullet one would be a little more difficult. You'd have to find the sticker itself. So they really are the same brakes uh, when you look at them. Now, something to note is that they are side specific. So when we bring in the uh, caliper here, one thing you will notice, uh, the one that I have is for the driver's side. And you can tell because the running horse would be going backwards if it were here for the passenger side. And so um, what you see is the bleed screw at the top. And so that has to be at the top for it to bleed properly. So you will notice that you need it on the right side. Now, my brother and I found a bullet years ago and it had the running horse going the wrong way on the driver's side. And so I wish we could have seen where the bleed screw was. Um, I'm curious about that still to this day, bullet number 110, if you ever have that one by chance. But uh, anyway, uh, very beautiful brakes here. With the powder coating, you'll see a lot of them on eBay and everything where um, they're chipping. And on the bullet registry, they'll talk about how they kind of flake a little bit. So that, unfortunately, that's uh, kind of what had been happening with the powder coating. But uh, part number wise, it's the same brake, uh, except for what would be on the box. The box part number 
would probably refer to it being the red powder coated one for the bullet. But as far as the casting and the numbers that are on the actual caliper built by PBR, uh, they are the same. But uh, anyway, I thought it was pretty cool and it was neat to find something brand new like this that uh, had no road grime or anything on it and see where it was cleaned from the powder coating. And I thought they were really nice. And even just to have for show, I think they look uh, really cool. So uh, I decided to pick this one up and uh, it was just fun to handle it and look at it and have it. And who knows, maybe I'll have a bolt someday. Uh, I enjoyed taking the caps off and just looking at this brand new, very nice threading and everything. So, you know, I might be a little bit of a geek, but uh, I appreciate the threads and all the work that goes into these. They are very nice. And so anyway, I also have the uh, brake pad and rotor replacement video for the Mach 1. So it would show you how to replace the pads and everything for this. Uh, so I'll put that in the video description if you're interested in seeing it. But uh, anyway, a lot of people will paint their calipers red, and you want to make sure you're using high-temperature paint that's not going to melt as they get hot. But uh, anyway, this was just something really cool that I thought uh, was worth picking up. And I was curious because I had always heard that, you know, it has a laser etched horse in it and this and that. And so now that I see it, uh, it, they are powder coated cardinal red is the color. I'll put the part number for that paint color in the description as well. And uh, the etching appears to me from what I researched and what I saw is that they put the sticker down and then just removed it. So um, if you have a bullet, go check yours out. I was even reading where some people said that they left the sticker on it. But yeah, you can definitely feel it when you put your finger on it that's raised on the rest of the caliper where the sticker, you know, uh, was preserving it. So anyway, let me know what uh, your thoughts are. And uh, one last detail before we go. I thought it was interesting. This looks like an original sticker for it, but notice how it says made in Austria instead of Australia. So I don't know if that was a typo or if maybe some of the powder coating work or machine work or something like that, maybe it was done in Germany. If somebody knows that, please let me know. I'd be curious. But as always, thanks for watching. Please check the video description and I'll give you some more links to other videos that are similar to this. Thanks, guys.